Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. Just want to do a quick video tonight. I wanted to babble a little bit, and uh, there's no one else around to tell, so I figure I'll share the story with the 2,400 or so people who are goodly enough to listen to me babble on the fucking internet. I wanted to do this video today because something has happened on YouTube, and it's slowly, it's sort it's kind of in the process of happening right now on YouTube, and, and I've been watching this go on, and it, it finally, it's finally gotten to the point for me where I'm like, how come nobody else sees this for what the fuck it is? It is that, that sort of elitism, that sort of smugness, that attitude, which I have to tell you, I don't really see a lot of. Not completely, right? I, I don't really think that the majority of the atheists here on YouTube, that at least at least the ones I associate with and chat with regularly, I, I don't think they actually believe they are better than you because they're atheists and you're not. I think they believe that they're right and you're not. They don't understand how a loving God could let bad things happen to good people. And... and um, yeah, now, now you ask Hayes, are you feeling me, or whatever, and he said, no, that, that's not my problem. But that is my problem. That is my problem. I have what you call this problem of evil. I've got it. I've got a big fucking problem with it. Now, you, you say to Hayes, you go, well, well, cite in the Bible where God says life is going to be easy, everything's going to be hunky-dory, bad things are never going to happen, and on and on and on. And you're right about that. You're right, there is no verse in the Bible where God says that. As a matter of fact, the God character, in the, in, the, uh, in the Old Testament especially, is written like a whiny fucking tyrant. God is a dangerous idea. It always has been. It doesn't matter if your God is Allah. It doesn't matter if your God is Yahweh. The idea of God is a dangerous fucking ideology. The theists on, on YouTube have slowly, they're doing their best, and this is what they wanted, tried to turn atheism into an assertion and an answer. I don't want to be included in your fantasy. Why can't you understand that? That's what I think your God is. It's your imaginary friend. Why do you have to include me in your fantasy? I know that you need this shit. I know that without the religion, without the God, without the, the faith and the prayers, that you couldn't make it through a fucking day of your life. You'd go absolutely fucking ape shit. You'd, you'd go nuts. And I appreciate that. And I'm glad you found something that makes you fucking happy. All right? But can't you just acknowledge that I don't think your God is real? Yeah, I'm sure there's like a whole lot of people on YouTube that are being fucked with that happen to be atheists and happen to be bitching about their channels being suspended, um, but simply because they are atheists doesn't mean that their atheism is linked to the reason that they're pissed off. Like, if I'm an atheist and I'm in line at the ice cream truck and somebody kicks me in the balls and steals my bomb pop, I'm still going to be mad about the fact that I don't have a bomb pop anymore. Now, I might be an atheist without a bomb pop, but I still don't have my bomb pop. And that's what's pissing me off. I really want my popsicle. Now, now what I was thinking was, first of all, he said, I, oh, I've got 500 web warriors. 500 web warriors. Suck my dick. You can't even get uh, five fucking views. You could barely get five views on a video. You, you have 22 people in your friends list. And you got twenty, and you got over five hundred web warriors working for you. Uh, suck my dick. You don't have shit. You're an asshole. All right. What you have is about five hundred fucking sock accounts, and you're actually so fucking miserable and, and depressed that you're gonna take time out of your fucking day to, to create sock accounts to flag someone's videos for no other reason than I don't like you. And this is just bullshit. This is just you blowing smoke up everyone's ass. Now, I do want to make it clear to you, Vaughn, and to everyone else watching, that you do know me, Vaughn Helton, you do, about as well as we can know someone online, right? You know that I'm not just some troll. I'm known. I make a lot of videos. I make my opinions known. I have an identity. 
here on YouTube. Well, just tonight, I, I go outside to take out the garbage, and I look up, and there's the web, and our little artist, the one responsible for this little creation, is posted right there in the middle of the web. And I, I remember looking up a few hours ago, and I look at the web, and it's empty. He's captured nothing. Now, perhaps the little motherfucker had something to eat when I wasn't paying attention, but for some reason tonight, that really upset me. You know that this spider had put in this fucking effort to construct this web. It served a purpose. It's there for a reason, and, and the web was not functioning. And I turn around, I, I go to walk through my front door, and I notice that my porch light's on, and that all of these insects that are attracted to the light are just slapping themselves up against the light. Just mindlessly beating the shit out of themselves to, to get closer to this bright light. And it hit me. This light is cheating the fucking spider out of its dinner. I grab this, I take it outside, I turn off my porch light, and I, I, I turn on this light and hold it for about a solid two minutes in front of the spider web. And I just wait, and sure enough, here come these fucking dumbass insects, and they start to fly directly into the fucking spider web. And this little bastard goes ape shit. And I remember I, I went inside and I felt sort of victorious, you know, because this this spider had created something for a purpose. It put in an effort to create this trap, and I had sort of paid it some sort of respect in some odd fucking way. And that's a weird thing to do. I mean, I'm a grown-ass man, and I'm standing in front of a fucking spider web with a flashlight trying to watch bugs fly into the web, but then something occurred to me. I did that shit for a reason. Because it matters to me that this web serves its function. And I don't know why. Like I said before, I felt like the spider had been fucking cheated out of, it, out of the reward, the fruits of its labor, what it deserved rightfully for putting in the effort that it had to construct this perfect web, this perfect, brilliant trap. It's a very dangerous way to communicate. That's a very stupid thing to say. Facebook didn't ruin your marriage, right? Facebook didn't sleep with your wife. McDonald's did not force feed you cheeseburgers. And Big Tobacco did not inject you with cancer. That's not what happened. See, what happened is, is you were irresponsible, you ate the cheeseburger, you were irresponsible, you smoked the cigarettes, um, you didn't give a shit enough about your spouse to not flirt with someone else over the internet. It's your fucking fault. There's God, and then there's everything else. That's it. This ladies and gentlemen, is a dangerous way to think. I don't give a fuck if you're a Christian, a Muslim. Um, anytime you hold a, a deity above everything else, that's a dangerous way to view the world. To prove it, let, let me ask you, my good Christian and Muslim friends out there, for the Christians, in your estimation, in your opinion, what is greater than God? Get back to me with that. Muslims, in your estimation, what is greater to you? What is better than Allah? What is greater? Get, get at me with that. Fake Sagan, the smooth terrorist, whatever. I think it's the smooth terrorist now. Um, said that riots for us anarchists. And you love it when people do that. They get to talk for you. Us anarchists are like... Halloween. They're like Christmas morning. They're the greatest fucking thing ever. We love to see that kind of shit. And I just, I wanted to respond back then, but didn't have the equipment to, nor the patience, honestly. But I guess I'll comment on this now while I'm on the subject. 
if you self-identify as an anarchist, you need to understand what the fuck you are saying. You are saying that you, you believe in something. You believe in certain ideas. You believe in liberty. Liberty matters to you. You need to understand that that is what you are saying. And you don't get to fuck with somebody else's liberty for the sake of it. During this whole controversy, people are really starting to lose sight that Christians still suck ass. They still suck. Don't forget it. Don't be suckered in by like this, this idea that one religion is, is far more dangerous than the other. That's not the case. Yeah, and Tommy from the Bronx is an authentic Italian. My ass. He's an authentic Italian like a goddamn Pizza Hut. Like a fucking 99-cent frozen spaghetti dinner that you get at the supermarket. That's how authentic Italian fucking Tommy from the Bronx is. And he's dumb, too. I mean, Tommy is really fucking dumb. We all know it. But I'm going to tell you a true story. True goddamn Tommy from the Bronx story. Back in the day, I was fucking talking shit about Tommy, and he's a big guy, and it pissed him off. So naturally, the idiot that he is, he resorts to violence, tracks me down, finds me, fucking walks over to me, and he's fucking puffing out his chest at me, and he goes, Hey, uh, hey Sarah, I heard you running your fucking mouth. You want to say something now? I fucking threw a Rubik's Cube at him, and he fucking curled up into a ball and started crying. It occurred to me why I do what I do here on YouTube. I want people to notice this fucking web. The only problem is what I failed to see before when I was holding this light in front of the web is that the victims of my little trap, they didn't notice the web, they noticed the light. They didn't give a fuck that there was a web there, they, they didn't appreciate it the same way the spider did, they didn't appreciate it the same way that I did. They just flew towards the fucking light because there was a light there. And that's all that mattered to them. What I'm trying to say by sharing this little story with you guys is that I guess I'm fucking tired of what I do here on YouTube. Because I have this drive, this sort of ambition. It's the reason that I'm here. A lot of people say uh, that everyone's here for subscribers and this sort of shit. Yeah, I mean, we want people to hear us. But some of us have more important reasons for being here. I was here when I first started making videos to try to get through to people. I wanted people to notice the goddamn spider web. But after debating people like or arguing with people, I should say, like Yoka and Jesus Freak and Venom Fang X and Gear Up. They don't see the fucking web. They don't want to see the web. They're just flying towards the goddamn light. And that's all that matters to them. And that's all that will ever matter to them. And while I admire the people who have the fucking patience to put up with this shit, to debates and try to convince these people I don't have it anymore I, I, I'm i done I just don't care enough to stand in front of the web with my light anymore I, I don't give a fuck then I discovered that I had a give a fuck problem I couldn't find my give a fuck I, I didn't remember where I left it, and, and it, I lost it. I, I, just, I didn't want to make videos, okay? I, I lost interest. But, lucky for us all, today, I have nothing else to do. No one around to fuck with me, so I've decided to make a video.